I'm Francesca and thanks for joining today's Treadmill Treats. So today I want to talk to you about vision boards. So if you follow me or you know me, you know that I'm really spiritual and I really believe in you know the power of intention and the power of putting things out there. You know what you sow you reap. Um, and I was on Facebook and it was a remember when in 2008 I was still in my horrible marriage and Oprah decided you know she was doing this vision board and because I'm a huge Oprah fan you know she did a marathon I had to do a marathon she did you know walked on fire I had to walk on fire whatever book she read you know I read and you know I just I'm amazed by you know what she did you know and where she came from so when she said she was doing a vision board I was like okay I'm in I'm doing one too so I remember you know being so miserable in this you know horrible abusive marriage and I put things on there like what I envisioned what my house was gonna look like I put things on it said 2018 this is your 2008 this is your year um, it I put places I wanted to see and, and feelings like grateful and happy and joy and just things and that I wanted to remind myself to believe to you know never give up to you know keep trying um, you know things about my career I put on you know Oprah you know because I always want to be on her Super Soul Sunday you know series and I I put on you know New York Times best-selling author at the time I didn't even write a book yet I, I wasn't I don't even think I was blogging at that point um, but I put all these things out on um, this vision board and I put it up in my laundry room so that this way you know while I was doing you know, the mounds of laundry as a you know mother you know and a wife that you're doing in a week every time I would be washing or folding I would be looking at this vision board and and just you know picturing what my life would be like and every night when I would go to bed and I'd cry myself to sleep I'd close my eyes and I would envision what my house felt like what it looked like how I how I would have parties and people would be there and there would be music and laughter and joy and and just and it would literally bring me to tears because it was so real I was envisioning it so real as if it was already you know as if, if as if it already had happened that's how real this was in my mind you know they say that that the best athletes in the world envision themselves crossing the finish line or making the shot or whatever it is you know that they, they could see that they see it before they actually do it they they envision it as they're practicing and this you know puts it out there in the world and I remember you know from that point it was about four years before I had the courage to leave before God was ready to open that door and say okay um, and I remember you know looking at that vision board every day for four years going when God when you know like like I know I'm so desperate to get out of here when you know and it just wasn't ready you know there's sometimes that God's not ready you're not ready you know that door is not ready to be opened yet and you just have to have faith and know that you know it's coming just believe you know and that's you know if you know me you know I have a tattoo on my foot that says believe because I, I wear this ring that says believe because that was what got me through I kept saying I believe I believe I believe I believe and when I finally got free and I got my home and I only prayed for a rental home that I could afford in the neighborhood but God had way bigger dreams than I did and he gave me my own home forty thousand dollars less than anything on the market but God <laughs> he can do it and if you look at my vision board which I still have you'll see everything that's on that vision board is my house the way that it looks the furniture the way it feels joy I feel peace I feel gratefulness everything I, I went to Greece I went to these places I wrote my books all of these things came to fruition because of this vision board because I never stopped focusing on what I wanted and I believed that it was possible that it was going to happen so that's my message for you don't give up 
get a vision board, get a journal, write down what you want, the, you know, the things that you want to do, the, the how do you want to feel, what do you want to change about yourself or your situation, because it's possible. I'm no better than anybody else. You know, I've been through lots of things just like everybody, but I kept my faith and I kept believing and I never gave up. I envisioned what my life was going to look like and it happened and it could happen for you too. So that's my message for today. I really appreciate all of you. Click like, subscribe, share. I thank you so much. Check me out on all the social media at Treadmill Traits. Have a great day.